The Webb Telescope's initial batch of images astounded the entire world. Bill Nye has some interesting things to say about the groundbreaking discoveries made by our trusted friend in space. Why are James Webb images so impactful? How does Bill Nye feel about James Webb? Stay tuned to find out all the important unanswered questions we need answered. First up, what did Bill say about Stefan's Quintet black hole? The Hubble Space Telescope captured some intriguing pictures of Stefan's Quintet, a grouping of galaxies that are performing a gravitational dance in space 290 million light years away. Stefan's Quintet, as the name implies, is a group of five galaxies. Stefan's Quintet has always inspired astronomers around the world due to its remarkably beautiful appearance. Now, the JWST has provided an even more detailed image of the galaxies to explain the complex nature of their motion. One of the most detailed images of the bunch depicts a celestial feature. Scientists are now gathering information from the black hole that seems to be photobombing. This black hole in particular is massive, the science guy says, but you can infer that there's one in there by looking at the pattern of the light that does get around it from stars behind and nearby stars. And so, the scientists right now are looking at this gas cloud near a black hole and inferring what elements are in it. Iron, argon, neon, sulfur. And then the dream, everybody, is to look for a planet and then to look closely at the atmosphere of that planet. Next up, how does Bill Nye feel about James Webb? A new era in cosmology has begun with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, which can see farther into the cosmos than its predecessor Hubble. The first batch of full-color images created by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has been shared by researchers at NASA, ESA, and CSA, and they were well worth the wait. About 235 million years after the Big Bang, the James Webb Space Telescope recently released its initial pictures of the most distant galaxy ever seen. The resulting images and data showcase the telescope's unparalleled versatility. Astronomers are blasting past the redshift of galaxies detected by the James Webb Telescope. If confirmed, those galaxies are quite early, as they were in existence just 200 million years after the Big Bang. Bill Nye is a science educator and communicator, so he's an excellent source for information about the how and why of climate science. By all means, he is a big supporter of James Webb. Next up, when was the Carina Nebula captured and how important is this discovery? The Carina Nebula, NGC 3372, is a massive star-forming region within the Milky Way. It is home to massive stars and changing nebulas. The Keyhole Nebula, NGC 3324, the bright structure just to the right of the image center, houses several of these enormous stars and has itself changed its appearance. However, what professional astronomers dislike the most is the dust and glowing gas that blocks the view of forming stars hidden within the visually striking but dark clouds. But infrared instruments, which are capable of sensing heat, can infiltrate the cooler dust and gas of the nebula to reveal what's going on inside. The first full-color image of the Carina Nebula, photographed by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, has brought forward a new set of possibilities. Kudos to the space scientists. The image took 12.5 hours to come together, an extraordinary accomplishment in and of itself. Bill Nye explains the image taken by the James Webb Telescope. If you could somehow be there, with your spacesuit looking out, you wouldn't see any of these things. The image was taken in infrared wavelengths, what we also call heat. And so, this instrument can detect all these objects in the infrared, and then we here on Earth take those data and shift it so that it's visible to our eye. The universe is accelerating apart. The cool thing is the farther away something is, and the faster it's moving, the redder it is. Next off, when was the Southern Ring Nebula discovered? It is visible in the Southern Hemisphere. The nebula is nearly half a light year in diameter and 2,000 light years away. This nebula is also known as the Eight Burst Nebula because it appears to be a figure eight when seen through some telescopes. NASA has informed us that this cloud of gas is expanding away from a dying star. JSWT has successfully taken magnificent photographs of these cosmic objects, paving the path for further discoveries. Bill Nye the Science Guy explains, this ring has this wonderful name, the Southern Ring, people in the Southern Hemisphere of Earth. Astronomers can observe this but have never seen it this close. This is the star that exploded. That's a supernova. These supernovas are what create all the elements that you and I are made of, and so we're looking at the process that creates life. And as Carl Sagan would remark, since we are made of the elements of these exploded stars, you and I are one way the universe knows itself. I'm like, dude. And in the center is a white dwarf. It's a star that's thrown out most of its material, but is now. Its gravity has crushed it down, where it's glowing in white light. So when they looked closer, they found that there were two objects moving around each other. It's like if you've ever been on roller skates or ice skates. You go toward each other and then grab arms and you go like that. Next off, why are James Webb images so impactful? NASA constructed the James Webb Space Telescope, which primarily focuses on infrared astronomy. Launched in 2021, Webb is the most advanced, sophisticated, and unmatched space telescope ever. The primary goal of the Webb Telescope is to observe the universe in the infrared and take note of even the minute characteristics. Webb mostly picks up infrared wavelengths. Studying infrared light allows scientists to see farther into the cosmos than ever before by spiking the dust clouds that connect
can conceal young stars. Webb is frequently referred to as Hubble's successor or replacement. Furthermore, even though Webb is far larger than Hubble, despite both being enormous space telescopes, Hubble and Webb actually see the cosmos very differently. JWST's bigger mirror will produce a picture with a significantly higher resolution than Hubble's if we use it to observe the same object at a wavelength of 0.7 microns, near infrared, simultaneously with Hubble. Webb has four specialized tools to enable more precise object observation. The near-infrared camera, near-cam, near-infrared spectrograph, near-spec, mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, and fine guidance sensor, near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph are some of these, FGS and IRISS. Next up, what is the future of the James Webb Telescope? JWST's first mission was a resounding success. Astronomers have promised to unlock the mysteries of space because it has lived up to their expectations. By seeing galaxies, star formation, and exoplanets as early as 100 million years after the Big Bang, the JWST will start exploring the past. Scientists will learn more about the formation of life-sustaining elements like silicon and carbon by examining these earliest cosmic structures. As opposed to Hubble, which worked in the visible light spectrum, the telescope collects data using infrared radiation. The telescope is already observing galaxy evolution, looking for the first bright objects after the Big Bang, and looking into the possibility of life in distant solar systems. I'd like to let you in on some wonderful news. For NASA and its authorized scientists and researchers, JWST is not fixed. Applying to do research with the new telescope is open to all scientists. Not only has James Webb discovered the first infrared image of the brand new galaxy, but he has also successfully photographed numerous other fascinating objects. Next up, what are the benefits of the James Webb Telescope? We've already seen five incredible images from the James Webb Space Telescope, giving us a taste of what's to come in the glorious future of space sciences. The Webb Space Telescope is slated to launch from French Guiana near the equator in 2018. Webb's conception is inspired by the Hubble Space Telescope, famous for capturing stunning photos of our universe's galaxies. It will view the universe in the infrared, or shorter wavelengths than visible light. Its closest challenger, Hubble, works primarily in the visible. Webb's infrared capabilities are crucial for picking up signals from distant galaxies in the infrared spectrum. Light from galaxies will be stretched out by the expanding universe as it travels through space and time. It's the first time we've had a large, cold telescope in space that can observe these infrared wavelengths, says Eisenstein. If life exists outside of Earth, it will release distinct chemical signatures, such as breathing carbon dioxide and photosynthesizing oxygen that can transform a planet. Webb can detect infrared wavelengths for fingerprinting chemicals such as water and methane present in the atmosphere of exoplanets, which are planets outside our solar system. Most surprisingly, Webb Space Telescope's onboard computer will analyze infrared signals from solar systems beyond ours. When an exoplanet photobombs a star that our telescopes are gazing at, the starlight will experience a dip in certain energies corresponding to the chemicals in the atmosphere. These discoveries highlight Webb's scientific capabilities, as well as the ability of its massive golden mirror and science instruments to produce spectacular images. With the James Webb Telescope and Bill Nye's expertise, we will be able to discover who knows what. What else can we discover from James Webb? Who is your favorite scientist? Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching.